In this video, I'm going to be discussing matrix operations and how to use algebraic operations to solve matrix equations and expressions. Intro into matrices. A matrix is a rectangular array of elements and entries. So if you think about the fact that A of 11, which you would think about, but think about is this is the first row in the first column is this element for this entry, which represents six. So you could say that A of one, one represents six. This A of 12, I guess you could say, is representing the first row in the second column, and that represents eight. This two, one is two because it's the second row, one because it's the first column, and that represents seven in A of two, two, is the second row in the second column, which represents a negative 10. Now, you are allowed to add matrices as long as they have the exact same dimension. So for example, this is a two by three matrix, and this is a also a two by three matrix, which means you can add them together. So you will add each entry together. Five plus one is six, nine plus negative nine is zero, 10 plus three is 13, Negative five and six is one. Eight and zero is eight. Zero and negative two is negative two. In this case, this is a two by two matrix. This is a two by three matrix. The dimensions are not the same, so therefore you cannot add these two matrices together. You are also allowed to subtract matrices. You would subtract each entry that corresponds to the other entry. So five minus a negative eight actually turns to a positive 13 because minus and negative cancel leaving you a positive. Nine minus nine is zero and negative 10 minus a negative two, negative 10 minus a negative two should give you a negative eight. And then you also can multiply by a scalar, so a number in front. So you would just multiply negative two by everything. So negative two times one is negative two. Negative two times negative six is a positive 12. Negative two times zero, zero. And negative two times 17 is a negative 14. Now to multiply matrices together, then the only way to do this is if the dimensions follows these rules. Dimension A and dimension B the, the second dimension of A and the first dimension of B must be equal to each other. And then the resulting dimension is actually going to be from the first dimension and the second dimension of the, of the A and the B matrix. So for example, this is a four by two. This is a two by three. Do the two middle dimensions match up? Yes and the resulting matrix is going to be a four by three. Four for the first and three is from the second. So we do know that it's going to be a four by three matrix. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually multiply. So we just talked about these two matrices, that this is a four by two, this is a two by three, so we know it's gonna be a four by three matrix. So I went ahead and made this up. Here's how you, here's how you find the different entries. You are going to multiply the first row by the first column, each entry. So you're going to multiply 5 times 2 and you're going to add that to 8 times 4. 5 times 2 is 10, 8 times 4 is 32, so the answer to this one entry is 42. To find the first row, second column, you're gonna multiply the first row by the second column. The first entry of the first row by the first entry of the second column. So five times six, and you're gonna add that to eight, times one. Five times six is 30, eight times one is eight, so 38 goes there. 
to find the second, I mean the last column, you're going to multiply the first column by the third row. So it would be 5 times negative 7 along with 8 times 5. 5 times negative 7 is 35. 8 times 5 is 40. Negative 35 and 40 give you 5. So that represents just the first row. If you were to find the second row, you would take the second column and multiply by the first row. That would get you here. Second column, I mean second row by the second column will get you this one. Second row by the third column will get you this entry. Thankfully, our calculator does it for you. So pull up your calculator. I'm going to clear this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my matrix, second x to the negative 1. I'm going to edit matrix A to be my first matrix. Now this matrix is a 1 by 3 because there's one row and three columns. And I'm going to put in 3, 4, and negative 10. Now I need to quit. I'm going to go back into matrix and I need to edit B because that's my second matrix E in this dimension is a 3 by 2 because there's three rows and two columns. So I'll get negative 5, 0, 1, 6, negative 7, 3. Quit. And now what you do is you're going to go back into your matrix and I want to multiply matrix A times, and you can either hit times or just, I don't think you actually need to do that, you can just go back and I'm going to multiply that by matrix B, hit enter, and it will give you your answer of 59, negative 6. So the answer to this is 59 and negative 6. This is a 1 by 3. This is a 3 by 2. So since the 3s do line up, my resulting matrix is going to be a 1 by 2. Oh, I, I wrote it wrong. See, dimensions really help. Negative is 59 and negative 6. And this is a one row with two columns. So it did work. A real world application to softball teams submit equipment list to their sponsors. This is the equipment list that they need. Each bat costs 48, each ball costs 4, and each glove costs 42. So this in itself is actually a matrix. So 12 bats and 15 bats. 45 balls and 38 balls, 15 gloves and 17 gloves. That is a two by three matrix. Now, we're gonna multiply that by the amount of cost. Well, the cost would be $48, $4, and $42. Now, why did I put them as one column with three rows instead of putting them side by side horizontally, it's because the dimensions had to line up in the middle. So my resulting dimension should be a two by one. Two by one meaning for women's team and two and the other one for men's team. We're gonna find out what the total cost is going to be. So we're gonna pull up the calculator. Let me come off to the side. So we're going to go into matrix. We are going to edit matrix A. Matrix A is a 2 by 3. And it is 12, 45, 15, 15, 38, and 17. Now I'm going to quit. Go back into matrix and I need to edit matrix B. This is a 3 by 1. And it is going to be 48, 4, and 42. Go to quit and now I'm going to multiply these matrices together. So matrix A multiplied by matrix B and hit enter and I have the total cost of 1386 is for my first row. 1586 is my second row. My first row was women's team. My second row was men's team and so therefore 
1386 and 1586. So therefore, the women's team was $1,386. The men's team was $1,586.